All right, in this problem, I am giving you two zeros, 3 and 1 plus i. And I want you, me, to write a degree 3 polynomial in standard form. If it's a degree 3 polynomial in standard form, how many zeros must there be? I only gave you two. What's the third one? No, no, what's the third zero? Look at one plus i. If one plus i is a zero, then what's one minus i is a zero? So here's what we're gonna write down. Holy cow. Let's take a look at that for a second and just digest what I wrote down. If 3, 1 plus i, and 1 minus i are zeros, then x minus 3, x minus 1 plus i, and x minus 1 minus i are factors. How do we create a polynomial in standard form from factors? What do I have to do now? FOIL. Now this gets tricky. I'm going to FOIL these two first. Pay close attention how I do this. Okay, I just re I rewrote the x minus 3. Now, let's FOIL this. x times x, x squared. x times negative 1 minus i. Here's how I'm going to write this down. Negative x, 1 minus i. x times 1 minus i and the negative sign. Now I've got negative 1 plus i times x. Negative x times 1 plus i. Then I get plus 1 plus i times 1 minus i. Y plus here? A negative times a negative. First of all, do you see how I'm able to write this down and where all these things came from? At this point in the problem, from this step to this step, leave your complex zeros in parentheses. We're going to break them apart next, but for this first step, leave them in parentheses to help keep them straight. Now watch what I have to do. The x minus 3 is still going to be there. This x squared is the way it is. Now I take negative x times 1, negative x. Negative x times negative i, plus xi. Negative x times 1, negative x. Negative x times i, negative xi. Now what do I have to do here? I've got to foil these. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times i, negative i. i times 1, positive i. i times negative i is negative i squared. Aha. Following me? Now, if we did this right, our i's will disappear. Our i's will disappear if we did this right. Let's take a look x times i and negative x times i. What's that equal? Zero. i, negative i plus i, what's that equal? Zero. What does i squared equal? Negative one. So let's rewrite it now and clean this up. We have x minus three times x squared minus x minus x minus two x minus a negative 1 plus 1. Oh, plus 2. Very good. Nice catch. Nice catch. Plus 2. Now we're back to where we were before. x times x squared, x cubed. x times negative 2x, negative 2x squared. x times 2, 
2x. Negative 3 times x squared, negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 2x plus 6x. Negative 3 times 2 minus 6. Combining like terms, x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 6. How about that? It's foiling. It's as hard as I can make foiling. Having complex zeros makes it very complicated. I agree. You're going to need practice at this.